you know, I, I know this might come as a surprise to some people um, because I have expressed frustrations with Daniel Jones. Um, but I'm actually really rooting for the motherfucker this year. Um, matter of fact, I'm rooting for him more than any other player on his team, any coach, anyone associated with the Giants. I am rooting for Daniel Jones more than anyone else. Um, if, if for three reasons, really. Um, number one, I, it's going to be hard to sell me on another quarterback, whoever comes in next to replace him. Um, as a more talented quarterback to Daniel Jones. I, I think Daniel Jones is one of the most gifted quarterbacks in the NFL. He has the speed. He has some speed. He has arm strength, and he has the fucking size. Okay? I mean, those are three good traits that you would want in a damn quarterback. And it just so happens that this man possesses it. He just can't seem to morph it in and use all of it to actually produce on the fucking field. Uh, number two, like, I don't want to have to deal with another quarterback, you know, developing in this damn offense again, you know, or, or slowly develop. Because this is a new offense, so it's already bad enough that, that Daniel Jones and company is going to have to develop in this offense of this year, you know. Um, but I don't want to have to go through that same process again, uh, with a younger quarterback. Now, obviously, you know, we could always get a veteran quarterback afterwards like the Minnesota Vikings did maybe a few years ago with uh, Kirk Cousins, or maybe we pull off a Russell Wilson-like trade, but I don't want to have to... Sp like, that's so much damn money that goes to your new quarterback that you just got from free agency. And if you're going to trade for someone, odds are you probably just traded your entire fucking future just to get this man. Again, these are things I do not want to fucking do. And third, this is a fucking talented football team that we're dealing with right now. This is the most optimistic I've been about the Giants in a very long time. I mean, look at our offense. Uh, for, for the first time, bearing we stay healthy, for the first time in a long time, I'm actually feeling good about our offensive line. Okay, We might not have the greatest depth. But I'm actually feeling pretty damn good about our offensive line. We got a we got a franchise left tackle. We potentially have a franchise right tackle. Uh, we got Kadarius Tony if he can stay on the damn field. Who's we all know he's a damn beast when he's actually on the field. We got Kenny Galladay, who's I mean he was a beast at some point. Hopefully he can get back to what the fuck he was. Um, we got these this new uh, Wandell 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 Robinson guy uh, that we just drafted. I mean, he looks like he's fucking talented. Obviously, um, we got Sterling Shepard. I mean, and and these this is all without even mentioning Saquon Barkley. Okay, um, not to mention this is all ran by a head coach that is pretty proven as an offensive play caller. We have so much talent, and I would really hate. For this team not to do anything with it because our current quarterback can't do shit. I mean, he just can't put he can't put it all together. Um, so believe it or fucking not, I'm rooting for that motherfucker badly this year. I really am. Um It's funny because we've seen glimpses of what he can actually fucking be. But we've also seen glimpses of him being an absolutely terrible fucking player. So, um, I'm rooting for you, man. Daniel Jones, bro. <laughs> I, like, I really don't want to switch to another damn quarterback if, if it's not fucking necessary. You know, um, obviously, if he sucks a fat-ass cock this year, get him the hell out of here. But I seriously, I'm rooting for your ass, man. Like, seriously, man.